Hello and welcome to Quid or Continue, the video games podcast that pokes a finger in the eye of the games that waste your time. I, as ever, am Mike Plant. This is Jack Turner. Hey. This is Andy Lachlan. Hey. And this is Dave Whiteman. Hello. Every couple of weeks we get together to discuss one game in great depth. Really lots of depth. Yeah. And well, this week. Uh, depth. Well, to a yeah. certain extent. Depth of, well. a, of a shallow puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Depth of a shallow, a shallow grave. Um, shadow of puddle. This week's game is Far Cry 4. Ooh. And I've got to say, probably my favourite thing about this game is the fact that when you're... The, the way it communicates the player yeah. to like the character to you in the, in the hands. So like you'll you'll rip bits of glass out of your hands and yeah. you'll put like venomous <laughs> animals out of your veins. Then and can I do a one word, a one line review of this game? Far Cry 3 in Nepal, done. That is basically. <laughs> that wasn't one word. No, one, one line I said. What's that. your one line review of Far Cry 3? Uh, Far, Far Cry, Cry 2, two <laughs> in a des- on, a, on a desert island. Okay, Far Cry 2. Uh, different to Far Cry 1 because that was on a desert island, but that was different. But basically, this game is Far Cry 3. Uh, no, it's Far Cry 4. No, but it, Which it, one did you play? <laughs> <laughs> I played Stop both. Stop the podcast, we've got a major problem. Look, All right, so let's so you you're obviously you're the king of Far Cry amongst our groups. So you finished Far Cry three, you finished Far Cry four quite, Far Cry quite recently, two. and Far Cry two. So and go Far on then. So far, how does Far Cry four <laughs> rank in the pantheon of Far Cries? And well, it's just slightly better than the last one, but it's exactly the same really. Um, but they're all good. That's well, well, possibly good. Let's get into that in a bit. But basically, this game is virtually the same. As, as Far Cry 3. I mean, I, I stopped. I, I completed Far Cry 3 and went straight into Far Cry 4. And I was. It was basically like I hadn't stopped. It was just I was no longer on a desert island. I was in Nepal, uh, or Kirat, as it uh, is called. Kirat. Uh, but there's things that will come to later. There's amazing stuff about Far Cry. There's brilliant stuff about Far Cry, and there is annoying stuff about Far Cry. And the, basically, the third game had all of that. The fourth game has exactly the same stuff, and if if Far Cry, if you if you if ever you played a Far Cry game and been annoyed by it, you're still going to be annoyed about Far Cry Four. If you hadn't enjoyed it, you're still going to love it. You're going to love it, and that's the kind of basically the skinny of the whole part of your game, really. So this this was my first Far Cry mm. game. I, wow, I've I've been been Far popped Cry your game. cherry. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. So. For me, it was quite an original experience, but I can imagine if you played the previous entries into the series, it would just be more of the same. But I loved it is it. identical to Far Cry 3 in yeah. almost every single really? way. I absolutely loved it. Uh, and and like, I think if you like Far Cry games, you're not going to be disappointed at all. What if you don't like Far Cry games? Well, you're going to be disappointed. Sure. <laughs> this is good buying advice. If you, don't like, yeah, if you don't like Far Cry games, you're probably already overlooked Far yeah. Cry 4. <laughs> why, are we, why are we in the shop with the game in your hands going, this might be the game for yeah. me? <laughs> Maybe they've turned it around. I hated that Far Cry 3, but this one, this is the one. So, come back to the premise. So, you are an American, typically, always American. Um, you have come into this world um, of Kirat, which is based in Nepal. Um, you have coming with your mother's ashes, and you're on the on the bus to take your mother to scatter your mother, mother's ashes. Your bus is hijacked, and down comes this slightly James Bond villain. I like the Bondish name. villain, yeah. camp pink suit wearing guy, uh, pagan min, who uh, everybody when the initial, when the initial poster came out, and everyone oh it's really racist, and someone said actually that guy's Asian, like because uh, he had a. Uh, a guy in the sand. Yeah, he had his like his foot on his foot in head. Him, and then went, oh, that's really racist. It wasn't like, actually, that guy's Asian. So I don't know, but <laughs> but he's he's an interesting character. Um, An unused character. Unused character. Actually, we can we can go to our comments oh, well, wait, again. Wait, wait, before you do that, can I just say the intro of that where where they introduced that guy was fantastic. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. Really good. I remember yeah, it was all, yeah. I, again, it was one of those things that I thought that was far more brutal and far more kind of like. Much more than I was expecting. So Basically, it's, it's a very bloody introduction, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I also because yeah. Far Cry, I don't, I, cause again, this is the first time I played Far Cry. I don't really know what I was expecting, and I know it was like, you know, an eighteen. Uh, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, an eighteen. I just kind of think, yeah, it's a shooting up. Of course, it's going to be. Um, but as soon as they do that stuff, I think actually, yeah, you know what? That's really, that's that's serious. It's much more. It's, it's less of a joke. And like Far Cry is, is really so co- colourful and all that kind of stuff. You don't expect it to be that kind. Of so you mean it's like less gamey, more like film esque. That's it, yeah. Like, like, I, I really, really like all that stuff. I mean, the, yeah. the world looks amazing, doesn't it? 
It's super hyper yeah, colour though, isn't it? Oh, it's really it just, colourful. But it just a bit looks... too, a bit garish. I find it. I don't know. Uh, well, the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit. Uh, it's, it's beautiful, but it is very, very like it's almost super colourful. Like, I'm like, a bit sort of relatively passionate about Nepalese landscape anyway, because it is just absolutely stunning. Yeah, I, I think it looks thing. amazing. So, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's. I, I remember when I first started playing. Uh, Gemma walked in. I was like, look at this. This is brilliant. It's just Jimmy. Yeah. Just what, what then I showed her the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what she said. For, for, yeah. for anyone at home, Gemma is uh, Dave's imaginary girlfriend. Yeah. 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 He lives yeah. on his own, but we yeah. don't like to mention it. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when uh, I played this game, this was the first game on the next generation where I went, wow, okay, that's where the step up comes. Um, You've not played Second Son, that looks good. I was going to say Second Son. I played Second Son. So this is, but that's what I'm saying. This Did is you say it out loud? No, in, in your house on your well, own. On my own. Wow! <laughs> got, got, oh. <laughs> what do you think of that, Andrew? That's amazing. Knock on the ceiling. Hey, come and look at this. <laughs> come and look at this. Woman who throws nappies out the window. <laughs> yeah, she might be into it. Yeah. She just lobbed a nappy out. It kind of ruined it. Um, but uh, I, I thought that it just looks amazing. I thought... Oh, I mean, about all Far Cry games look pretty good. I mean, I thought two looked amazing, like in Africa with like oh, just the sunsets and all that kind of stuff. But this one's got a really different palette. It's, it's got a mixture of kind of like green environments, but also like snow and like really kind of. And the wind, the wind, the fact that you're so oh, high up. I love all the animation beautiful. on the um, on the the flags and stuff. I just yeah. all that kind of stuff. I love that detail. It that feels sense. a really rich world, doesn't it? Yeah. Compared yeah. to something like. For example, Shadows of Mordor from oh, <laughs> yeah. you know, is, that, is that game any good? Um, my, you should definitely say continue. That. my top comment that I've written down as I was making notes of this uh, last night, I must admit, is just fucking animals. Because what, what I, I think you're putting the wrong down. <laughs> 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 what button was that? You're so yeah, yeah. crass. You're so crass, Jack. Because right, what, what happened when I was playing the game last night was uh, there was these. Like, I was just running my own business, walking through, walking through the woods as you yeah. do. <laughs> they, they and you, you in the corner. An and like all these wolves started attacking me. Wait, and I'm like game fucking or? wolves. Yeah. Yeah. So then I ran, wolves. I ran quite a distance into a cabin that was part of a mission area. You know, one those those areas you've got to clear, like the village you've got to clear. Mm. And then all the and that's, so I was crouching in the corner, and then suddenly all these wolves just came in the front door. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, for fuck's yeah. sake, the there like, is no uh, end to this. <laughs> Do they open the door? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, The door is just open, so they just walk in from the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, the thing is, I've seen a lot of complaints about the animals in this game. I never once felt cheated when I was killed by animals. But there's the eagle thing flying in. Oh, every, yeah. every, yeah, every time the I got, eagle, every time I got killed eagle. by animals, I just thought it's hilarious. I didn't care. I didn't care. <laughs> but I went to get, you know, the bell tower things. You liberate the bell towers, and I went on the way. So I landed down in my uh, little helicopter thing. You can you can fly a little oh, gyro, yeah, yeah, yeah. gyro yeah, gyrocopters. Yeah, yeah, really so if you're in two play mode, you can grapple onto the bottom and swing around on your mates. Mm-hmm. Can you can you jump off one of those onto the belt, top of the bell tower? Yes, you, you can. Yes, I, you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did that once and just rolled off the roof and died. <laughs> <laughs> but I arrived there. So I wow. arrived there. Uh, <laughs> a pack of dogs attacked me. I was like, oh fucking dogs, fucking dogs. Ran to the tower. So you can say uh, fucking uh, dogs and no one laughs. And yeah, I say it. And they're like, who's fucking a dog? Who's fucking a dog? Because you just wrote down fucking dogs. Yeah, you wrote fucking animals. I mean, like, there's just no, that's not unequivocal. It's just a say, statement on its own. Uh, fucking animals, I want to talk about it. <laughs> this is definitely the platform to do that. But, like, so I get to the tower, I get bit by a snake, and I was like, fuck off. What is a snake doing here? Went in. Uh, uh, I, was like, I like the way he just rips it, fangs yeah, it all out of his arm, though. <laughs> and then there was a, a beehive in there. All the bees attacked me. So I got to the top, and the bloody eagle, the <laughs> worst animal in the whole of this game, yeah. just comes down and starts pecking at your head. And you're like, Mother Nature, piss off. <laughs> yeah. I, had, I had that on the, Him- uh, is it the, yeah, the, the Himalayas mission. Yeah. And like, I was, I was near the end of it, and this eagle started attacking me. Like, Fuck off. Yeah, what yeah, you, yeah. What exactly. have you got to do with this? Because, like, I'm sorry. This Why are you getting involved? The, the worst thing is that you're super stealth. <laughs> I'm packing. I'm packing. Yeah, I so, the worst bit, you've, not, you've, you've managed to get around to that point without triggering any of the guards. You've got around and everything, yeah. and some of these fucking eagles attacking yeah. you. Like, fuck, they're firing at that, and then all the bloody guards come yeah. in. But like, to oh. be fair, though, to be fair. Mother Nature does get a kick in his guy. I must have killed a zoo worth. <laughs> I killed all those wolves. Zoo. I killed them in yeah, my knife. A metropolitan zoo worth of animals right. in this game. But do you not think the animals weren't easy enough to kill? 
Because I, I emptied oh, a few, I don't know. I emptied well, the, a few rounds yeah. into a head. If you of got a the grenade necklace, launcher, and I was like, why well, isn't he dead? I, I, killed mean, I should a, be able to shoot him with one bullet. I got a honey badger dead. last night. No, no, the there's no honey badgers in it. There is no honey <laughs> there badger. There's a little, there's a little weaselly. There is. There's 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 not not honey honey badger. There are honey it's badgers. Honey badgers. It, if there was a honey badger, it'd be immortal, basically. But they are. But they are immortal. God mode. I thought. I thought. I thought bears were the worst animal in this game until I came across a honey badger because they're, they're bears. There isn't a honey badger. What are you in talking it? about? This? There, <laughs> there is. is. There, there is. is. I'm, yeah. I'm going to Google no. it. Anyway, you can see a bear a mile off, so you can avoid it. Honey badgers are small and right, they, okay. they, yeah, they're really, really tiny. Hold on, hold on. You don't know. You don't know it's a honey badger. They look like weasels, but they're bigger than weasels. Chris Packham is not endorsed this game. This game is way off on its on its on its nature. Right. Why are rhinos in it for a start? Like. <laughs> what are rhinos they're honey, doing? They're on their holiday. <laughs> on the holiday? Uh, one of the first searches when you just type in <laughs> honey badger is honey badger Far Cry 4, which I managed to not click on. That was a bit stupid. I didn't see the honey badger. That's because they're small. And they, it, they stay in bushes until you get right uh, on top of them and they come out and just attack then, you. Then rip your balls off. They are bastards. <laughs> there he is. Look at him. Oh, my God. There he is. Oh, my God. There's one. <laughs> Uh, You're showing the I'm internet. Sorry, the internet. internet. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. My God. That's like one of those things when you see a mirror of a mirror of a mirror of a mirror image. Yeah. I would have. I'll um, tell you what. I'd blow the shit out of him. I, I, you I, won't. I, <laughs> tell your you will not blow the shit out of him. I got, him. I got my grenade <laughs> launcher. I got tapped by a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to get you in your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> I got attacked by two tigers. A grenade launcher. And both in the air and then shot them while they're in the air and then blood their <laughs> smouldering corpses came down and went and skinned yeah, that's, them. That's... They went, fuck you, Mother Nature. <laughs> this really isn't good for uh, the viewers at home, but that's what they look like in the game. They're just fuck. little fuckers. Wow. So you played through the whole game, you never saw one. So no, that's, no. that's how rich this game is. Can... They wow. look like skunks, but they're really angry. But basically what happened yesterday was there was just one in the field and I got him before he got me and just shot really? him in his little honey badger I, face. How, what'd you get when you skin him? You must get something pretty um, fucking good. Uh, that brings me to one of the things I fucking hate about this game. My pouch is always full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just like, for fuck's sake, so I have just all these things yeah. everywhere and I can't do anything with anyone. I've got to go back to the shop, sell all the crap. Yeah, but yeah. You, you can, but I'll, yeah but you can craft bigger pouches. I don't so, want to craft a bigger pouch. I don't want to craft anything. I've, already, I've got a big enough pouch. <laughs> I'm so there, blood hold dripping on. from me, hold so on, in a fucking hold pouch. On. We've gone straight to the negatives again. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's just get back to the positives, right? right. Okay, can I talk about the eagle? Because I have one other thing to say about the oh, eagle. Oh, we're the well, bloody eagle, all right. The eagles was great. And, um, it was the, great? Yeah, yeah, no, it was really... I did love you, it. I did love you kill it. one? Yeah, I did kill some. Yeah. I love it when you're just walking through the environment and there's like some uh, locals saying, ah, I've been attacked by an eagle. It's like, <laughs> so pecking the shit out. Yeah, like, <laughs> there was a point, I was playing it last night, I was sort of running up a hill or something, like Kate Bush for some reason. Got the eagle, <laughs> running from the honey just badger. Little, uh, little insight into my world. <laughs> no, there was, uh, yes, I was, like, I was running up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, I was walking in a westerly direction. Which and, way uh, was the wind blowing? The other way, I don't know. Yeah. But I, yeah. I, um, <laughs> behind me, I can hear some, hear some commotion. And I turn round. And no there's commotion. A, the, yeah. yeah, yeah. How many female pop star references? <laughs> uh, and there was an eagle picking up a flipping pig. And wow. That's very good. That is awesome, that is isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and yeah. I thought, game of the year, done. Yeah, that, that, but you know what? The, the, the random stuff in the game yeah, is pretty damn dull. The use of the animals as well in the combat. So, I mean, it, this came in for Far Cry 3. A bit in Far Cry 2, but you know, you, you obviously got like a group of people you can shoot out where they've got their, like a, bi a bear in a cage. Idiots! Like, well, have you got a bear in a cage? The first, the first, um, but then it attacks them all, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you clear them out. The first outpost I came to, there was an elephant in a cage. I shot the lock off the cage, the elephant just went mental, killed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I cleared the outpost, thought this is the best game ever made. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you Honestly. can use, and, and like, I like the way that you can, that, that, that sense of dynamism. Like, sometimes. You can be able to fight people, and suddenly this tiger just comes from nowhere, and just like all the people shit themselves. And I just, I think I love that. I mean, part, half the time you turn around and go, "Fuck, there's a tiger there," and it starts sacking <laughs> well, you. Can you can chuck a bit of bait, in, can't you? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great. So mechanic. you skin the animals, yeah, get the yeah. get the bait, and then lob it in, and it just attracts any predator. But the problem with that is, I did that last night in the Himalayas, and I chucked some like a like a. Uh, a bit of meat into the, into some enemies. This massive bear came along, <laughs> killed all the enemies, and turned around and killed me. Like, <laughs> Whose side are you on? Uh, <laughs> did he steal your picnic basket as he well? He stole yeah, my yeah, picnic yeah. basket. <laughs> <laughs> Damn that, that sense of kind of like vibrancy in the world, I think, is really good. You know, yeah, I think yeah, the yeah. sense of you know things are happening. Like suddenly, 
you'll just have like a crazy thing happen. Like a lot of people start fighting in front of you, or or there'll be you know like there's an eagle attacking someone, or like people will be like chased by a tiger, or the dogs and stuff like that. Well, it's not all animals either. There's like factions at war as well, yeah, so they yeah. can sometimes just have like a war, and you're just like kind of sat in the distance just watching it happen. And what and I liked so about cool. this game compared to Far Cry Three is they did a lot better with the upgrade system. In Far Cry 3, you really have to work to get the extra holster, to get like a, an extra gun. You really have to work to get like the best ammo, ammo pouches and an upgrade. In this one, you got to the good stuff quicker, a lot quicker. You got to, you got the guns that you wanted, you got the ammo you wanted, and you got the kind of like the loadout you wanted a lot faster, which is really good because that kind of fucked me off about the other game as well. I like the upgrade as always, like though, is it the tiger and the elephant or something? The two, the two, the blue yeah, and red. Yeah, the and you can, defensive like, level up. and yeah, attack. Yeah, 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 it's cool. It's a, Do you know what? It's good one. Always spoke to me about upgrade systems. This is with every game. Is that I? It's like standing at the bottom of a mountain. Whenever I look at the, where you get the first skill point, or whatever it is. And I think, oh god, look how much stuff I've got to, I've mm. got to do then, surely to unlock this stuff. And, I, and I always, it always feels like such a chore. To then unlock the bits that I want. My main issue is remembering the button presses. Once you've unlocked that, like double kill yeah. thing, like then you're yeah. just like, you've got to press L1, then L2, and then blah blah, blah and you're yeah. like, I'm yeah. never gonna there, fucking do that. There's right? one of those where you can, I think, you can kill uh, an enemy with your knife, then grab his gun and shoot someone else. I was looking at the button prompts, thinking, I'm never gonna do that. Yeah, so yeah. It's basically yeah. never unlocked. Yeah, it. The but, when I first came across the grabbing the enemy's gun, I thought. Probably not going to do that. But to be fair, shooting. there was some really good stuff like, you know, uh, like taking takedowns where you take all their gun or take all their ammo or take all their, like, loot drops, you know, like, you, you, things These like are that. These are the upgrades. The upgrades, yeah, yeah. And, like, uh, you know, heavy takedowns, so, like, the guys with the big guns or you, so you can come behind them and, <laughs> like, take them down. So you get some really good upgrades, I think, and the health upgrades are really good. I think the crafting was a lot less in this game. I didn't have to do as much of it because I could buy... Um, uh, you know, kind of like the syringes. Uh, by the way, the shops, they will buy anything. Uh, oh, say, yeah. oh, yeah. Anything. Some of the Tampax. I sell them a condom. condom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can say, they will buy it. I'm like, There's a honey badger's paw. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it off you. <laughs> a stupid woman in the middle of the She's actually whacked out on opium. Like, yeah. oh, I'll buy a Tampax. Yeah, I'll who's buy she, a who, used condom. Who's she selling that used condom? There is like a weird thing about those. <laughs> oh, gross. Because like, the game, like, in the, it's, so you're supposed to, it's a quite believable. In, in many ways, it's quite a serious game. And then suddenly you go into the shop and she's like, yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy that shit off you. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. kind of my, this, my belief of this game is kind of well, slowly being sapped away. By it, like being of, eroded by it, it kind of straddles the line between serious and sort of f campy, funny. Because the um, the when you get in a the car, the, there's a local DJ. Oh, that guy, yeah. And he just talks a load of nonsense. I actually thought it was quite well done, although it's quite repetitive, which is quite annoying. I felt like the, yeah, um, he, he repeats the same things again. Yeah, exactly. Um, what were some of the things he talked about? So he always says like. Um, so about, oh, he always says, oh, I heard someone just rode an elephant into a load of uh, pagan men soldiers. And it's like, yeah, I know, you told me that five minutes ago. And also, that was me doing that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I kind of, like, newsflash, I knew about that anyway. It would be good if like, you have options at that point to say, yeah, that was me. And then he goes, oh, fuck! And I can, like, jump around the, the radio taxi, station. Yeah. Runs out yeah. of the taxi. And I think, I think there, there is... I think the, 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 the kind of the elements of the world that felt kind of... Like impactful, like there's actually um, things that are kind of making sense and things that are actually kind of. It was there, but it did feel a little bit forced at times. And certainly the radio DJ, I think he's got quite a lot of criticism online. Well, kind I've got, of I've got some right here. <laughs> Let's not get to your comments. Little yet. Jack's corner. The thing is, as well, with with GTA kind of showing the way of how radio should be done in games. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't just take the opportunity to go right. We're gonna have. A like, bizarrely, Skate in the middle of this yeah. fictional, fictional, like weird place in in the parlor, whatever, we're going to have this amazing like radio station that's going to deliver have, all this stuff. Know, they like, do have licensed music in the game, don't they? There's bits and pieces. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah like very a, limited. Maybe sort of, yeah. with, with these kind of every year they're bringing out you know, the next Far Cry, all that kind of stuff. They're eventually building to what they want to eventually get with GTA. Do you ever think about that? Because I always think that like, GTA has done it so very well and polished it up so nicely. That I kind of think that this is now the thing for open world games that they're. I think the, the thing about um, <laughs> the new rule is read it out. Yeah, you're going to no, share it with no. the rest of the group. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a message. Yeah. Um, it's nothing mm. to do with you guys. It was actually his doctor about his herpes. Terminal. But I think the thing that <laughs> Ubisoft has never cracked compared to Rockstar. Stop laughing. <laughs> is that this game kind of pesters you with missions. It doesn't present you with missions, it doesn't present you with options. <laughs> it like, pesters you. So that's like in, prepara come over here, come over in here, preparation come here, for this. this. 
I like literally, I, like I put the game. I I played it a, a couple of weeks ago, and it's the first time I played it for a couple of weeks yesterday, just to like remind me of the game. And put it in the machine, and I open my map up, and it's just yes, yeah, it's like a billion things. Yeah. They're just like, like oh my, arrows. So I couldn't remember where I left there, off, and oh. I was just like, oh my dear god, this is just bewildering. I, I can't be asked. When I first started playing the game, I was doing a load of non-story missions because I got so confused yeah. with what was story missions, what weren't. I was doing all this side stuff, and it wasn't. Like wasn't contributing anything to my progress. Yeah, yeah. I probably spent the first five hours yeah, just fucking like, about. You've done one percent of the right. game. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck one, have I been doing? One of your complaints with Shadow Mordor was about the fact that the map you had to go climb up these towers to open up the map. I right. Mean, this game. Yeah. Oh, got the bell towers. Bring it on, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it this, on. But this game on the bell towers, <laughs> fucking hell. I mean, the bell towers in this game these, were these, awesome. Right, they're like little assault courses. They really yeah. were. Assault no, courses. Like no, they're, they're like puzzles. They're like little palate cleansers. They weren't puzzles at all. <laughs> they weren't puzzles because yeah, they, they weren't difficult. Them. They were getting, Some of them were. slow to do. No, they well, it, it, most of them, the, the puzzle basically on most of them is just you walk around until you find the thing you can jump. I, I, look, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm bored with towers in games. It feels like every game these days has got a tower you've got to climb up to to see more of the map. But in this game... Next week's game, Tower Assault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this game, like, there's actually some strategy to getting up the tower. There is. Yeah. Because you... first of all, you've got, to get, you've got to get there. It's normally guarded. You've got to take out all the guards. Then you've got to climb up. You've got to avoid eagles, like Andy mentioned. Yeah. Um, and yet is. The eagles, yeah. the band. <laughs> you've got to avoid. Yeah, exactly. They're built at Hotel California. You're like, oh, Florida. fucking hell, I'm sick <laughs> of that song. Tower California. <laughs> oh, guys, come on. And you know, you get to the top and you disrupt the radio. It's awesome. This is right. the best yeah. tower in gaming. Right, okay. Oh, this this thing, go. this thing, <laughs> going to bring go. me on to my Back my off. rant about open world games. Then because. <laughs> right. Bring it on, Specky. Right. <laughs> what time is it? Fucking hell. Right. Okay. Because the, the problem, the problem with all that is like, I get it. Yeah, it's a bit interesting. But then, do you see how many towers there are on the map? You've got to do it that many times. The problem with this open world game, and this, with most open world games that aren't done, like there's not enough to do. Like I still don't think there's that there's enough to do within Far Cry Four. What? As I also I like the fact when you get to the stuff then there's a radio no, and you just says, tune the radio and you just basically rip the wires yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've done that then. Except for actual mission things to do, like they're all the same, aren't they? They get like they're they're the same like, sort of formula of total of these missions, and then you have to do it in a slightly different way each time. Well, I think the mission think, that, that's there's two different things here. You know, there's the open world thing about with the towers you've got to unlock the map, and then there's the, the mission types. And I think the bell towers, they, they do the thing. You don't have to unlock them. If you want to see the map, you can unlock them. You, you don't have to unlock any oh, of no, them. I know, but you don't understand what kind of OCD I've got with that kind of stuff. I don't, I have that's, to, that's your problem, though. Yeah, that is <laughs> your yeah, problem. <laughs> but what I'm, I think you would make a valid point about the missions. I think Far Cry has always had this thing, and it's always annoyed me about go somewhere, do a few bits and pieces, suddenly all oh, shit breaks loose. And basically you're in a... Hold the position mission where just waves yeah, and waves. Yeah, there's one early on where there's like a napalm village but that's on fire. It, it, and yeah. Yeah. There's about 15,000 of them in this game, you know, and the, the final mission when you get to the end. Spoilers. Is, well, it's not a spoiler. Anybody. You've got, you got to shoot some blokes. <laughs> but for, Cover your ears. For about fifth, I mean, it took me about. It was about. It was a wave lasting about twenty minutes. Yeah, I hate that shit. Which is to, yeah. just constant, constant. I mean, yeah. I, I had the grenade launcher and I was just like. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and then I almost died, almost died. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and then you basically get on and on and on, and eventually you get to the final thing, which we're not going to go into. But um, it was just this game relies very heavily on fetch quest to a certain extent, but more so on what would you call them? Like, like survival s- missions. It does survival speed. Missions. Yeah, so like yeah, yeah. so that's the attrition mission, and then yeah. there's like the speed delivery missions as well. I like, do oh, my head in. Anything with a timer, no. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Anything yeah. with a protect of another person, yeah. no. Anything with a timer, no. Can I just have another quick moment about open world games? No. Yes. Um, right. Okay. So my 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 other issue with it is uh, okay. So a lot of open world games, people can say, oh yeah, I put sixty hours into it, ninety hours into it, fine. But then how many of those hours are you just walking? From A to B. Dave, yeah. look, no, no, no. <laughs> we talked about this before. Yeah. There's a fast travel system. No, 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 no there's, there's not. There's, there's vehicle. Not. Yeah, there's yes, not. there is. No, no, there's not to every fucking mission. There's a fast travel system to certain points. It's not like, uh, if I want to go to a mission, I go, okay, that's the next bit I want to go to. So I'll, I'll put a waypoint on. I'll have to get in a vehicle and go auto drive me there. I think, no, don't fucking. Why can't I just be no, there? No, 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 the fairness of the game, though, what is good about the game is if you get killed mid mission, the, the save points are actually quite generous. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Good. Save yeah. points are good. And actually, yeah, they've really tweaked the system on. That doesn't, that doesn't on, answer um, the point, though. <laughs> the point is 
point of driving? I don't see the point. What is the point of having a, a no. gang of... No, no, honestly. You could say, gang, what is the point of me getting in a tube tonight to get home? I don't, yeah. Why can't I just get home? Yeah. Yeah. But not the same thing. It's not the same thing. So I don't understand. Not like, where it worked. I think, I thought the auto drive system was great, mainly because driving a car in this game was a fucking nightmare. And it's, it's fine. So no, it's fine. You can do it. You can do it with one hand. No, no, I, was, I was drinking a cup of coffee and driving. I was doing that. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, you can yes. do the auto uh, auto drive. Is that what you're saying? You can just do. You can just no, trigger the just, autopilot. Hey, oh, I got yeah, The problem. The problem with it though is I'm so again. This is, like, that, this is my problem. But I'm so used to the fact that this 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 thumbstick is controlling the car. But I'm doing it. I'm like. I'm looking at someone still driving straight. That's because oh, you right, I've got to get used to that. That sounds like your fault. No, no, I know, that's my problem. However, <laughs> right, okay, what is the point? What is the point in an auto drive to get me there system? Why can't I just. There'd be a get me there system. Why, 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 got a, why, why can't, can't I, I get... sit through this? So I'm literally, I'm sitting there going, right, this is literally like being in a car. Waiting to get to the next thing. What is the fucking? I'm not playing I'll, a game. But in a world where you've got a gun and there's tigers running after no, no, you, no, 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 I'm sat in the car. I'm just, I'm sat in the car. I'm like, you can them. stop and like have a bit of a fight. I can do, but I want to get to my fucking mission. I'll point. tell you what, because cool, the game's you need to chill out a bit, Dave. No, 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 because I get the. Here's things a man who's got a kid, a wife, a girlfriend, and don't talk to me, Jenna. So angry. I've literally got 15 minutes of that fucking baby wakes up. Right. <laughs> my, my point is, my point is like, you should be able to choose. Why can't you choose? I get that like, if you want to piss about driving everywhere choose or you want to life. walk for fucking hours off a fucking mountain. Choose your family day you every that. time. But I just want to play, I want to do the mission. <laughs> Instead of going to walk, it's even tells me, even you tells me I've got to walk like 10 miles you just can, to get there. You can fast right. travel to somewhere close to it and they can hop in a vehicle. No, but I've got to unlock it. You said yeah. I've got to unlock it. I've got to unlock got the area of the map. the top of that thing, that's what you got Yeah, so this is this is this is Please never play fucking. All right, all right. I'm going to change. So whiny. No, I'm gonna change. no, I'm gonna change. no. I, I disagree. Can I, uh, can, I, can I talk about the story? No. The character. Well, before you, well, you can. But what I, what I, I want to lead no, in. Yeah, no. What I want to say is, we us lead on to what you're saying. But So in the game, does the main character have a name? Uh, yes, uh, RJ. And do you know the two people that you send you oh, on missions? AJ, get, AJ something. And you know like there's the, the missions and they branch and there's you can have two... Is that completely tacked on for everyone here? Because it felt to me like there was no. Well, who, so you know, who you have, you, have the, you have the missions. You can choose so you, like this guy's uh, mission yeah. or this person's but mission, but only one or the other. I, went, I always wanted the bloke. I, I went with the, drugs I went with the girl. You had the girl. Oh, go then. So yeah. how did that? Uh, uh, oh, classic. Yeah. You thought he was going to get somewhere? Typical lock room. Was she on Tinder? No, no. No, she wasn't. So basically, the the wife before hose, bros before hose. I found the I found the guy annoying. He was annoying. Yeah, preaching. Where did you find the girl? No, well, the girl wanted to go and make loads of heroin. So I thought, well, fuck it, let's go with that. (laughs) It's a metaphor for life, isn't it? Let's get let's get high and freaky. So then, did your next missions like so? Well, I went with the the bloke. Did they they compare and contrast? What happened? So so with so with the mission where you've got to go and destroy the um, drugs factory. So I went and destroyed it. So what what happened for you? So I went and saved it. Yeah. How did you save it? What does that entail? Uh, I just took it and then protected it. Just like a normal mission, basically, where you got to sort of overtake an outpost. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know what? I found the whole a Sabal and a, Ma- and a Marla or whatever the fucking name Check was. Check out you with the names. Yeah, I know the names. See, I've done yeah. vague oh, research. Jesus Christ. But I found, like, you guys... I, I basically just want to say, right, you guys, can you sort it out between the two of you? Yeah. Because a lot of wasted effort is going into sort out your, effectively... Like a little marital mini, problems. Yeah, I don't know whether yeah. you're together or not. Are you together or what? They have a little mini kind of thing going on, don't they? It's, it's, it's like weird, weird sexual yeah. tension. Mm. And the moral sto- moral choices all the way through don't really work. And I think I think the characters feel horribly stereotypical. Like kind of apart from Pagan Min, who's cool. Like he's stereotypical, yeah. but in a cool but way. If I can read out no, before, well, which I started, but you. Well, no, no, because I wanted to bring it round. You were talking about the story, but I wanted to bring. Well, this, this, this is this is a comment yeah. about. This is from. Uh, it's, it's, it's called entertainment, Andy. Well, can I just talk, please? Uh, <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not. Yeah. Anyway, <coughs> this is from Michael Coates. Coatesy. Coatesy. Quartet. On Number one fan. Quartet. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the uh, t-shirt and everything. He from Quartes. <laughs> Um, he said, uh, I think he enjoyed the game. Uh, only disappointment was that Far Cry makes these incredible characters, such as Pagan Min, and then massively underuses them in the game. And I think that is a good point because Pagan Min basically drifts in and out of this game. He's va- he, he comes over the, the radio, you hear him a few yeah, times. He kind of offends him a few times, and he over the radio. He occasionally comes in and out. 
you get to the. That's really effective when he when you complete a mission and he comes in and sort of undermines it and sort of because he he's got I guess you're carrying around a sort of radio or something like because he yeah he gives mm. well he knows your radio frequency doesn't oh, he oh that's right yeah. yeah so he he'll sort of come in and say oh well done it's a bit like Google. the Joker in Batman no. going oh you're an idiot Batman yeah yeah he'd be like well done um you know I just want to say hi how you doing uh, <laughs> you're right check, checking yeah. in yeah, yeah. um how you doing join uh, Nepal uh, yeah. slash Karat yeah. um, have you been attacked by a honey badger yeah <laughs> you really should you're see like it. I don't believe it's in the game I don't I've never <laughs> seen one I've never seen one so uh, this is a question for you Andy because these guys have not played it but Far Cry Three has Vass who yes. is like an awesome character. Yes. So how do you think they compare? Uh, um, measure up? Well, Vass is in it a lot more. I mean, well, I mean, Vass is in it as about as much as Pagan Min. He's still a bit of a, a bit of an ignorant. Vass is a lot more scary. I mm. mean, like Vass is like he's he's ultra psycho, he? unfi- yeah. unhinged, basically. Yeah. Pagan Min's like a, you never quite know like where you stand with him. And I suppose that's that's quite deliberate because he is he being your, you, does he want you to be part of his thing, which. Um, mm. There is a kind of end. Uh, well, a different path you can take at the start. I don't want to spoil it. Well, for we people. could say what the how well, you get to you, it. You can. I mean, you, you can complete the game in, in, in fifteen the, minutes. In fifteen it's minutes. Not, it's not the real ending, I guess. But is it? It's, it's an ending. ending. It's an ending. As yeah. a man with things to do, that's but an ending. You can, you're, you're going to. He <laughs> takes you well in, spent. <laughs> and he has. He's had a relationship with your mother. He's fucked your mother, you basically. Are? Jesus uh, Christ! He's fucked your mother. And well, you uh, stop it, saying that. That makes me feel really uncomfortable. What? <laughs> fuck your mother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was the Nero ask. Wow, fuck your mother. Yeah, fuck yeah. your mother. <laughs> uh, I used to go, uh, go to play five side football and, um, uh, with like other work teams, and uh, one of the teams was called Into Your Mum. <laughs> oh, there's always Into Your Nan. It's like Into Milan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, quite fun. Yeah, that's quite funny. That's quite funny. But uh, he. Um, so he's 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 an interesting character, but he, I think I think Michael's right. He, he, he not this Michael. Michael. No, not you. Michael. Coatsy. Coatsy's Coatsy. Coatsy's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's he's underused, and he feels a little bit like, I think when you eventually reach a certain conclusion, which we won't give away, you generally don't feel like you've ever really understood what this guy's all about, or why why you should hate him, or why you should not hate him. Like, and I think he's you know you don't want a stereotypical, you don't want like a kind of bogeyman. So to speak, but you, you do want to kind of understand like, how do I feel about this guy? I always want to like a, a couple of pre missions to before like just to, almost to, where you're him maybe give a to get, yeah, 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 yeah. and see good. see what this guy's like. I mean, yeah, you've seen him brutally murder murder people, but then again, you've bu- brutally murdered. In fact, I, I've I killed hundreds and hundreds of people. Well, and one lots thing of I think Far Cry Three did better than Far Cry Four is that route so you becoming a mass murderer. Yeah, yeah. Because it real it really feels like a. But did you not find in Far Cry tension in Far Cry Three? But I did you not find it in Far Cry 3? I mean, I'm, I, I'm not sure. Well, we could probably spoil that again. But well, I don't spoil it, but, like... But, uh, I, I, might, I, I might get around to it. I hated all the characters, basically. Cool. I was like, you are all douchebags. I don't give a shit. Because basically, if it puts you in with, like, all these kind of... They're almost, like, student kind of... Right, okay. yeah. Like, on a... On a... On a... On a, on a what's it called? Like, a... a they're, they're, they're on, a, like, a holiday. And, yeah, 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 they're, they're all, like... like, like, they're all like oh, a gap year, cool. that's the word it's, I'm looking for. Oh, skydiving! Let's do some shots! Okay. So they're, they're your typical American kind of... They're so cool. I've got tribal tattoos! And so they're... But the main character in that, he has a real kind of issue with killing his first person and all that stuff. Sure. And, he, and you, the but game the, the, is a descent the, into madness with him in a way because he, he, you actually do feel like every time he kills someone and there's points in the game where he's getting yeah. more and more guilty but about with, it. So, okay, so that sounds quite cool. I remember, so obviously... Well, Team Raider is the one. Yeah, you're I was going to mention Team Raider. So yeah. in Team Raider, the first yeah. person you kill is a, bagger it's a massive oh. deal, and you kill this person as you cry, like Lara Croft cries and stuff. And the second person is yeah. like, "Fuck you, bam, yeah, done." Yeah, yeah. Next, that, next thousand people. Just that version of Team Raider is good, but the way they executed that was just laughable. I think really. I think I, I don't think I've got any problems with like the way that your character unfurls in um, Far Cry Four. I think I think you kind of understand that you you've got this lineage to this this golden path, this kind of resistance movement. You kind of you forced into it. You well, they all think you're going to somehow be like this ultra commando you're the, you're the guy, kind of chosen yeah. one yeah yeah and you, and you don't quite understand where that all comes from apart from the fact that your your mother was involved with all that kind of stuff and like I don't think it's really that bad I mean I think I think largely the characters just feel kind of uncomfortably stereotypical they're they're, they're on the right on the kind of this tip of, of being a bit like oh god it's a bit much and the, the largely I just found that I just found them quite annoying, you know, with, especially with the Sabal and Amala thing, you know, this this kind of divergent path. So 
I just didn't I didn't really like either of them, you know. And I felt like like these people, two people, are, are kind of pissing me off. And, and yet again, why am I doing this? Well, they put that nerd. divergent path in, so presumably you can go back and and play it again. But the, the different, but I don't know. I don't, I don't I don't know. Would you really ever do it? I don't like, like, like that about games anyway. I, I don't it's like that. It feels cheap. I mean, if you it feels like you missed out the first time round, I suppose. Isn't it? It, it, like it doesn't feel like I'm gaining from playing it again. No, like Wolfenstein. Yeah. I don't want to start again. Yeah, which was the most paltry of like differences as well. In that in that instance, though, I kind of think at least Wolfenstein you didn't miss out really by by choosing. That's true. Yeah, it was it was very cosmetic. Kind of yeah, that's it. Whereas this, you kind of. (laughs) (laughs) Wolfenstein, old blood's coming soon. We are definitely playing. We are definitely doing that, guys. We are definitely. At least it's cheap. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. um, right, so this is going a little bit off piste, but um, so a while Thank ago, you with, with January the fifth. Um, so basically, what happened was for, um, Ubisoft sent out uh, to a bunch of their loyal fun fanboys uh, or Far Cry fans. Um, they sent out a questionnaire saying, "What do you think should the next Far Cry be? Do you think?" And these are the. This is. I this didn't is, get that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> number one. Probably because you'd have said it should be about honey Very badgers. <laughs> um, yeah, where were the honey badgers in this game? Yeah. 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 So these these are the questions that they sent out to people asking <laughs> what what the next Far Cry what right. you might. Look. So Ugh. this is a poll. So a Far Cry game in remote Alaska about ex- surviving extreme wilderness, which sounds a bit like Far Cry Four anyway. Yeah. 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 But maybe you'd get cold and die if you went into certain areas. Do you ever play the thing back on the PS2 era? Yeah, you I could you actually, could yeah. die in. There is a secret. Sequence in this game that. where you have to get oxygen, don't you? I think. Uh, yeah, the in the Himalayas. Yeah, yeah, the Himalayas. Could that be cool? So you, you, you could shoot polar bears and penguins, but what else? What, what, what other wild? Well, no, because they don't live in the same area. I don't. I don't, I don't think we should base it on what wild. Yeah, but come on, they've got wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's a far cry game in Alaska with tigers, be, hippos, be, crocodiles, yeah, 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 yeah. rhinos. <laughs> Why are rhinos? All right, in, uh, all right this one. This one is a familiar one. It's a far cry game in a futuristic sci-fi setting, which is obviously channeling Blood Dragon. Yeah, Blood Dragon. Yeah. Which would be. Cool, but it was like a one joke, maybe. Uh, I think, I think kind of like a Blade Runner joke. Far Cry, but then you're talking about like a futuristic. I always think Assassin's Creed they should so do a futuristic because Assassin's yeah, Creed. Yeah. Yeah. I way prefer the. I don't. I don't like futuristic stuff. What? Yeah. Well, the best yeah. Assassin's Creed is the pirates one, so yeah. I get yeah, that. no, I, I just felt like I think one of the things I loved about this Far Cry. I mean, again, it's the first uh, only Far Cry I've played, but just the, the sort of. The realness of it all is brilliant. Yeah, I suppose uh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a Far Cry game set in the Vietnam War. Oh <laughs> God! I wouldn't go with that. Yeah. I'd like a Far Cry set in the uh, home counties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, called Shadow of Mordor. The home not the West Country. <laughs> yeah. That would really appeal to me because I live in the home. You're counties, just punching so. a goose in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aggressively feeding ducks at the pond. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm gonna make you so fat. <laughs> a, far gr- a Far Cry game set in the cocaine trafficking jungles of Peru. That would but be they, they uh, South, a South America yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. They, they all sound much of a muchness. Wouldn't that just be? The same uh, as believe this me, one. they get a bit more out there. Okay, cool. uh, a Far Cry game where you fight against or join vampires. Oh, no. <laughs> oh Far Cry the Order. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's bollocks. <laughs> Andy yeah. Lachlan says, that's bollocks. Bollocks. That's an official stamp. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> a Far Cry game in a spaghetti western style set in the late 19th century well, Americas. Right. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Although Red Dead, Red, Dead Red Dead Redemption yeah, is 2 Red is Red going to come out pretty that's soon. That's Red Dead Redemption, isn't wouldn't it, really? That, but then, wouldn't that be so... That would feel like such a different game. It's not really a Far Cry game. Do you not feel like that? As soon as you put it in the setting... Yeah. But then, the trouble is, like, so Assassin's Creed has done Assassin's Creed now about eight times, and I just... Yeah. Like, the next one's now going to be in Victorian London, which, given that we live in London, we should be quite excited about, but... <laughs> Yeah, but none of us live in Victoria in London. Well, that's true. <laughs> no, I caught the horse and cart to work this morning. Yeah, hey, gold. If he's not got the smallpox again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a field of just people slopping out. I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you imagine how you'll do that, yeah, yeah, that leap down, leap of faith into like a pile B of shit to avoid turning Press B <laughs> to slop out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A Far Cry game that is. I'm upstairs in my house. <laughs> 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 a Far Cry game saying Andy's house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Oh my that. god, is it? And then <laughs> Andy can be in the game playing Far Cry 4 going, Wow! <laughs> this is truly amazing. A Far Cry game is set in a, ju- a zombie outbreak. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. no. Although I no. don't think there's many zombie games on the market at the moment. There's, there's three million. <laughs> <six. laughs> no more zombie games. Now, I've not seen one for a, at least today. Blood Dragon 2 
Oh, so they've actually they've gone mm. futuristic sci-fi saying and then they've also done Blood Dragon 2. A sequel to Blood Dragon, no shit, mm. with Rex Power Cult, so you must be Oh, I've seen the one I want. Keep going. I'll, I'll You're not supposed you, to I'll, read. You're not supposed to pre-read. Oh, so. yeah, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> this is, like, this is a quiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, All right. A Far Cry yeah. game set in Mad Max style, post-apocalyptic no. world. No, no, no. Next one. no. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> a Far Cry game set in the present day on a Jurassic Park style island yes, of dinosaurs. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so definitely. All right. We need, we need the resurgence of dinosaur games. Dear Ubisoft, yeah. please make me a Far Cry game where I can kill a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You, you could ride a Triceratops. You could ride oh, a Triceratops. Great. Lego, Lego. Oh, Jurassic that looks World. good. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's well, going to be. going to bring it all yeah. back. It looks fun, but uh, the Lego games don't do it for me. Mm. I don't know what it is about them. But I do want a really good dinosaur game because no one hasn't existed. I don't think it's one terrible. ever really does exist. <laughs> yeah, but I never. Well, I didn't have an N sixty four, so I never actually oh, played through. Do you remember any of the absolutely terrible Jurassic Park games that came out? Well, there, yeah. was, there was actually a Telltale one. There's a, I've got. I just. Oh yeah. Because yeah, I just yeah. bought a Snes, everybody. Hi, nineteen of ninety two. Um, I got <laughs> Jurassic Park with it, so I'm quite looking forward to going back. I think I played it back in the day, but that was a really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, actually was a good dinosaur. Game. Game. Oh, okay, I've been actually, playing yeah. one on. Uh, I can't remember. What there it was. Called. It was like a Discovery one, but it's so There was so Star Fox versus the dinosaurs, whatever it was called. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. I can't remember. Star oh, Fox Adventures. That's that? what it was called. I, I finished that. So it was like Zelda meets Star Fox with dinosaurs. It was crap. Anyway, go on. Sorry, what you say? Um, I think. Um, I think that there's a lot of. Like, I mean, they've done the kind of tropical island thing to death. They've done the Africa thing and then okay so I, I think South America has definitely got some mileage in it I think maybe a kind of an Eastern European type thing maybe a Russian Russian kind of one where you're in a in a real Chernobyl. kind of bleak <laughs> in, oh, well, what they've not yeah. done is take it to like a city rather than have it because it's usually yeah. quite remote jungly isn't it they've not but took it to like, like a big yeah, city yeah, like a so. really kind of like rough kind of Eastern European well, place do they, do they rely on landmarks because I, I, I well, the Himalayas is quite a big landmark, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? I've never heard of it. Have you not? It's, no. uh, is it, it's got a, a pretty is it big a, mountain. Is it a valley? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe I think the city thing would be a good, be a good way to go. But then, I suppose you but then you've got the, end up feeling like the games. GTA, the though, so there's tourists everywhere. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. taking pictures oh. of you. You'd have to yeah. somehow make it so it was selfie sticks. It was like That's a city that had been overrun by terrorists or something, so there was selfie only bad guys. Yeah. The final one is a Far Cry game based on the world of Shangri La from yeah. Far Cry, which uh, if you played the game, I, don't, I didn't see enjoy all those bits. Of dinosaurs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Zombie dinosaurs. I really, I really I hope. hope that I just really hope people vote to dinosaurs, not bloody zombies. I mean, come on. Okay, I don't think people would. I mean, that would just be Left for Dead, though, wouldn't it? Really, if we if we did that and. And like I, I think I think you can stick with the premise. I think it's the premise Island works. Of dinosaurs. I, I love that sentence. <laughs> the, the thing is, I think that they should address in the in the next games. Don't have people constantly shooting at you from like you're wandering around. You're like, oh god, there's people shooting at me. It'd be nice to be inconspicuous, wouldn't it, for yeah. a little while? Because like those guys you know, have not recognised you, really, did they? They're just like guys. I mean, I was I was, I was walking around the valley, right, and there was a guy over the other side of the valley shooting AK-47s across about 500 meters <laughs> and hitting me in the head, and I was thinking like. This is not representative yeah. of real life. I'm not. I don't but that's the point with games all over. That is actually video game. One of the big downfalls, the shortfalls of video games, is that the enemies see you from miles away and can also shoot you from fucking yeah, yeah, miles yeah. away. In real life, if you try to shoot someone from the other end of Earth to we're near the yeah. BT tower over there, no if, if any of us tries to do it, there'd be no. We could be here for the rest of our lives. I'd probably life. shoot yeah, myself yeah, before just, I shot the actual person. Funny just enough, be like spraying. Speaking of which, that's one of the complaints. All right, little Jack's right. corner. Okay, here we go. Jack's corner. Jack's corner. Jack's corner. So this is it's a, a load of bile and complaints. <laughs> 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 so this is a, it smells slightly of turd. <laughs> this is this is a part of the show where we basically troll Metacritic for shit reviews <laughs> of uh, the games we we know and love. And uh, I tell you what, I tell you what, it's a, it's a rich source. Of, of, <laughs> yeah, uh, but it is anger. Oh uh, this one God. comes from uh, Die Mario. He could be German. <laughs> don't know. The Mario. The Mario. Um, he says, they try to cash in on the series, you do this, you go there, you kill this cow. I don't remember that bit. Uh, you that kill bit. this man until cutscene is on, and you repeat until your hands is swore and shallow boring. It is true that Far Cry is in danger of becoming like a thing they start doing like Assassin's Not Creed, but I stop. think probably they might be a little bit more like, you know, they might keep it back a little bit so it doesn't become this yearly grind. 
Hopefully, in Far Cry, it might become like a two or three year thing. Are you serious? Do you think it'll become a yearly thing? Mm, maybe. Yeah, I, will, I think it will. Yeah. I think any game should be a yearly thing. That seems insane. It seems. It seems. So, well, no, no, even yeah. Call of Duty, where they have three massive studios working on it, still feels like it doesn't develop enough in the time. So no, it definitely doesn't. No, that's ridiculous. But the, it will because Ubisoft has got. a Financial year now, isn't it? Oh, I suppose. Go on, next one. Uh, next one is from um, Al Sami. Uh, Al Sami. He gave it a zero out of ten. Wow. Whoa. Fucking hell. He's not fucking about. Uh, this is all caps, but I'm not going to shout the whole thing. So I'll, I'll <laughs> do it. Re- oh, go on then. Oh, wait. I love Far Cry 3 and got addicted to it. It was so fun. Wait, where's he from? And I plays for hours. This is Mordor. <laughs> this, is actually, this is actually the way he wrote it. And I plays for hours per day that I can't count. The lags listed below is my personal opinion. Wait, wait, he's played it for hours a day. Far Cry 3, this is. I'm just reading oh, it. Right, so. Wow, that's, he's written loads. He's written loads. I'm we not go. reading all that in Come this on, that's golden. FT4. Sorry, Ubisoft, I didn't like it on the smiley face. In Far Cry 3, I was addicted to it. Addicted. I played the game for almost seven times in a row. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. This is Dave Salami speaking. Oh, okay. One, this, this here breaks down. One. It breaks down its problems with the game. One, right. story. In FC3, it was a nice story that I could understand and follow like a movie. It wasn't the nice story. What? It was a shit story. He, are you going to seriously argue with Ace Salami? Yeah, I am. Ace Salami? Yeah, yeah. But in FC4, there are a lot of branches in the story that I won't understand or even pay attention to. Right. Right. Two, enemies. In FC3, I was enjoying the language, accent, words of the enemies. You're saying this in capital letters, Jack. You need I'm to... not shouting this. I'll, I'll be dead by the end of it. And I was so happy with the reactions of them while moving. In FC4, you get detected easily, even if you were hiding. Also, enemies also... No, that's all, not but, true. But, but, Always move towards you, even if you weren't detected, so it was annoying and I didn't enjoy it at all. I did find sometimes when I was trying to be stealthy, I would just be spotted from 100 miles away, and they'd all run after me. But that's, that's the same in, in But you can chuck little four. rocks uh, and distract them and yeah. get them to come to places. You have to be more tactical. I don't hey, mean. Salami doesn't cover that. Okay. World. In FC3, while ruining on foot, you can see wide angle that in... Ruining? Hang on a minute. In FC3, while ruining on foot, you can see wide angle that in f- FC4. Mm. I've, I get the impression it's not his first language. Also, when an enemy approaches you from a distance, you can see them popping up in front of you and start moving towards you. And actually, you can hear the sound of the car starting from <laughs> first gear. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we not read any more of this out, please? No, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. That's, Aim and shooting. Shooting next to a tree or a rock is so frustrating. Especially when you aim really near the tree, you hit the tree instead, unsmiley face. Oh, wow. There's a lot of unsmileys. This is my favourite one. Five. Split screen not available. I'm going to die! (laughs) Five exclamation part. In defence, that is annoying because, you know, the death of the split screen we've discussed before. It's annoying you can't play these things side by side. But you can play it with a mate. He's died. There are no more comments after this. He died at that point. No, not really. But you can do that. I've not really played much of the multiplayer on it, but you can do it. So you basically, the two of you can go in. Oh, I was talking. Because a mate the other night. He, the friends? About, I forgot just the one. Imaginary uh, friends, like his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. You hired him, wasn't When it? I was thinking up my mate, I was talking about. <laughs> talking what, you what, what, up. what names did you give your imaginary friend? <laughs> Dave, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's called Don, yeah, Don not Dave. Not Dave. <laughs> You're really um, handsome, Dave. Other Dave. Yeah. Other Dave. Uh, he was saying that uh, he, uh, the co op. When you do co-op with someone, mm. it only adds to the progression of one person's co- uh, Oh, one that's person's nice. That sucks. Yeah, yeah well, I, that really, that's... Although I suppose, though, if you're at the end of the game and someone's at the start of the game, then how would it tally? Yeah, okay, you'd no, have to I join get... someone someone else's game. But that's the thing, that you're supposed to use it no, to but every mission, the outpost. Every mission you do should still clear off... What would be co- what, what, what um, Ubisoft should have done in that situation is they should have said, OK, you have the option to say, yes, I want my my goals that I achieve in this to to tally with like my single player content and therefore like for both characters. So you could make a pact at the start that this stuff will or will not impact your single player experience. Yeah, so yeah. you have the choice if the multiplayer actually impacts on your single player game or not. Well, that's I, what they I, that's I, what they should have done. I think the um in the story stuff should only be single player. And then just any and then other the mission. other yeah. So if you claim a village, yeah, but yeah. you know, I mean, like that, that's that's a new feature, and you know? they'll probably refine that over the next good generations because you've never really had the chance to like someone to dip into your single player campaign. I do, I do wish we had a go on co-op actually. I'd, we were. Well, oh well, that time has passed. That yeah, time has yeah. passed. Let's just um, let's go over that. Right, hey, Salami, come on, he's still got things. To well, say. this is the last one. No, no, it's not the last. We're one. We're running out of time. No, 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 no. no. We're gonna hit, also. We're, I'm no. about to kill a Salami. No, no. 
Six. The Radio Man's boring. Oh, oh he is. Who he listens is. to this guy? Seven. Controlling Suddenly, Ace Alarm has become <laughs> part of the conversation. Seven. Controlling the current consoles is so difficult. It's you, isn't yeah. it? It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's it really isn't. isn't. Eight. The only thing that keeps you playing this game is that you can use a bow. A bow is a good idea. Or I'll be back playing Far Cry 3. Hope to see some improvements on Far Cry 5. All the best. What's funny about this is that he implies, <laughs> he implies that, like, He's not playing Far Cry 3 because it's got the bow, but then he said he hates Far Cry 4. So yeah. he's playing Far Cry 4 even though he hates it because it's got a bow in it. Yeah. This next one is from Game X. I'll be quick with this one. My cred- credentials are over 10 years as a hardcore gamer. Wow. Mostly first person shooters Ten years. alongside RTS. This game is a lousy creation. A lousy? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do you just pick uh, negative reviews? Well, no, but yes. they copy and pasted every form of the which is true. They did copy and paste Far Cry 3. I wasn't sure about this bit. Oh, yeah, yeah the, that's true. The game reinforces sexism, if that sounds interesting mm. to anyone, by putting all morally wrong optional choices with the female antagonist and the emotionally correct choices with the male one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'd say quite the opposite, actually. Ooh, yeah, controversial. That would, that, would, that would buck the trend of the idea that the female is the... Uh, but she yeah, is, the, she is she's the one yeah, going yeah. for the, the heroine... Let's get everybody scagged up. I suppose that makes her like an empowered feminine, though, doesn't it, in this mm. game, in the context she, uh, of the game? She made more sense to me. I, 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 I she sided. spoke to you. I sided with it, yeah. 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 Well, uh, let's, let's but say, some... let's say roles were reversed and the woman was the sort of boring option and the man was saying, let's get the heroine. Would you have uh, gone with the man or would you have still gone with no, the woman? No, I'd probably gone with the woman, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Which speaks volumes for Andy. Swipe, swipe uh, left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll finish off with Game X. He also said, I always say he, I just assume all these blokes. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. Far Cry, th- having experienced Far Cry 3, this feels like a bad rip-off where the creators have just crammed in as much stuff as they could make to, to make it seem cool. And it probably does to 15-year-olds. Well, shit, I thought it was cool. And I'm not 15. <laughs> Uh, Does that make you feel young? Yeah, oh yeah, makes me really young. <laughs> Maybe this game isn't made for me, question mark. In which case I say fine. I didn't pay any attention to it. Oh sorry, I didn't pay anything for it anyway. Did he nick it or what? You what? Honestly, what? It's a, download. honestly, it's a piece of crap because of all the lost potential. Read a book instead. Fuck <laughs> Read a book <laughs> instead. Who needs books? <laughs> <laughs> I think basically people's beef with the game is that it is very similar to Far Cry 3. Yeah, it, it is, I mean, but I, don't, I, I think it's still a great a I, game. I don't think that's a complaint. Far Cry 3 was a good game. Which yeah, it was. It, it was a very good. It was probably the best game it's, of the year. Let's yeah. wrap. Oh, I've got one more. Well, I've got one oh, tiny God, complaint about it. Right. <laughs> Get it off your chest and then go right. straight into the wrap. Okay, so you know when you're in the, in the middle of a firefight and your health is low, so you hammer the button to, oh. to, to heal. Oh, triangle. Suddenly, you're pulling a twig at your finger whilst a thousand guys are shooting. I quite like that though. Like the fact no. that your are there. Not for every, oh, the not animation, for every energy block though. The animation is so long. Yeah, yeah. You're doing this. Uh, <laughs> and I've got like one like thing and then and then like I've only done one bar. I like, I like the idea. But would you rather that other thing where you just have to sit in a corner and your health just Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. I like yes, the idea like that, that wrapping your arm in bandages like, oh I'm healthy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's it, I'm better. I've pulled a, like a bit of like shrapnel out my oh, knuckles. Oh the glass in the hand as yeah. well. It's like phew, oh, done. <laughs> well, fucking hell, I mean, you need to go to a doctor. You, yeah, you want to <laughs> cauterize it up or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you want to get some uh, But you've got the snake. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> Everything's fine. You know, you know, some good like uh, antiseptic lotion on. I this. think ultimately <laughs> the joke with Far Cry is that it's all basically a dream or something. Like it's someone on the on the precipice of death who's just like yeah. hallucinating about what's going on with them, and that's like, the only reason why this could out like be lost. true. Yeah, it's just like yeah. lost. Yeah. Go uh, on, Jack. Right, let's wrap up. Uh, just one other complaint. Quit oh, no, no, you can't have another yeah. fucking. Make complaint. it part of your quit. You I'll continue. Okay. Uh, well, it's, for me, it's a continue. I thought it was a great game. Really enjoyed it. I don't know if I'd feel the same if I played other Far Cries. I might have similar complaints to the people that we, you know, whose complaints we read out. But because um, this was all new to me, it actually reminded me of um, the game Mercenaries. Yes. Which I really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really loved that at the time. Oh, yeah. The it's, pandemic, it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. similar to, to Mercenaries. Um, my one complaint, well, apart from the ones I mentioned earlier, uh, was you can't skip the cutscenes, which really annoyed me. Because <laughs> I. I I watched the one where you know when the multiplayer finally first unlocks hmm. and there's that guy you meet. I watched that about four times because like something kept happening in it and it just kept triggering it and I was like, oh my god, I can't skip this fucking cutscene. Um, so yeah, so overall, I I really enjoyed it. I'm you know I definitely play it through to completion. I do all the side stuff as well. There's lots of um, 
lots of things to do in this world, unlike Shadow of Mordor. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, one thing I really liked was um, there's this side quest involving a serial killer. Did you come across that? The guy who's leaving masks on dead bodies. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was really intriguing. Yeah. It made me think I really want a really good detective game. Uh, I was, it was, Sher- was Sherlock any good? That got I didn't play Sins it. and Punishment, whatever it's called, it's free. Crimes and Punishment. Crimes yeah. and Punishment. It's free yeah. on PS3, isn't it? Yeah, I've downloaded it. I don't, haven't played it. I don't know, I'm going to also download it. Yeah, it's a good receipt. next time. Oh, yeah. oh, well, I'm out because we're doing the artifact. Yeah. Uh, okay, anyway. To, to, don't to, give it away. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to, to sum up. Uh, wait a minute. Five minutes, we'll tell you we're doing the artifact. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no. so, so to sum up, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, I'd, I'd, be, I'd even be tempted to go back and play older Far Cry games because I thought it was great. Anyway, that's me done. Continue. Yeah, play uh, Far Cry 3. I will do. Um, <clears throat> Far Cry 3 is right? It is definitely. It's a continue, but it, I... I can only say that I hope that when Far Cry 5 comes along, it offers more. Far Cry 4 is the pinnacle, I think, of what this thing can be at this moment in time. I don't see how Far Cry 5 can exist. If Far Cry 5 is very, very similar to Far Cry 4, then it won't be a continue for me. But I will be happy to say this is a continue at the moment because it's a PS4 game, the graphics are jaw-dropping at times, Uh, it's beautiful, the gameplay is vast and expansive and there's lots of variation but because it's a Ubisoft game especially they should be doing more with their next one there's not enough between Far Cry 3 and this game to really justify apart from the new graphics uh, you know and it, I, don't, I just think they need to make it Far Cry 5 much more something different but for now Far Cry 4 is a continue if Far Cry 5 is the same it will not be wow Real talk. Uh, well it's continue all day long for me uh, I think it's a great game uh, I think the having played all the Far Cries, it it's never fixed. They've never fixed the issues with Far Cry, annoying, uh, pestering throughout the world, uh, pestering with missions, um, too many generic missions, too many annoying like uh, survival missions. Uh, but overall, this is a great place to be. It's you can have a huge amount of fun. It's it's just. A really, and I like the the new feature they brought in. You know, be able to jack cars on the on the fly, be able to shoot out of cars is great. It's fantastic. I mean, that's a, something we've had in GTA for ages, but to have it in Far Cry is great. <laughs> The funny voice. Go on, <laughs> this is his summer not I think that's called passion. <laughs> I'm just I'm uh, unfamiliar with it. Do you want to just fuck off and lay? <laughs> <laughs> we're so we're so unfamiliar with passion coming around this voice. It just threw us off for a moment. Just, just, why don't you all just shut? No, it's fine, you're fine, you're doing the roll. Fuck. Yeah, no. You were on a roll. Oh. Yeah, no one noticed, keep going. You were on a roll. I was on a roll, now I've lost my fucking bloody dread. Uh, now there's a lot of wolves fucking you. <laughs> there's a lot of animals to kill. Uh, if you like killing animals, this, animals, this game is great. Um, overall, it's, it's a great <laughs> If you like killing animals. <laughs> if, you like killing animals. <laughs> if you're Terry Notkins, this is perfect. Um, uh, but this is a, good, a great game. I hope, I do hope in Far Cry 5, in the inevitable that's coming probably this year or next. In Jurassic Park, by the sounds of it. Well, it's in Jurassic Park. They deal with all these issues that have blighted every Far Cry game back to the start. But still, I love playing Far Cry games. And... This one is no different. Three Speak. out of three. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, well, it is definitely a continue. Hey, 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 hey. Four out of four. Um, I, I just want to say that, like, the talk about Far Cry 4, I, I, I think I feel the same with sequels and games and that I do with sequels in, in um, films, and that I don't, I, unless it, there's, like, a hang-up at the end that, you, that needs is requiring a sequel, I don't, see the, I don't see this need. Like, why do we want a Far Cry 4... Because well, far, uh, well, the difference is they, they drop different far protagonists far. in yeah. games. Yeah. Whereas in no, films, no, no, no. generally, you've got the same no, characters, yeah, but, but in is, games, is, you is don't. Is the game any different? Like, I mean, you might be playing out a slightly different story, but you're still playing the same game. And so, like, um, it's not, it's not like a big negative, but I just kind of think like um, they'd have to do something drastically different in a Far Cry Five for to, to make it to make it rather than just changing the scenery. Well, there's a point where you you, you you like it might as well just be Far Cry Four expansion pack. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's yeah. So, I mean, I kind of think why I, I, I what I what I'm really interested in the games that have, have been talked about like coming out are the games that I've never heard of before. I'm not that interested in like a new Far Cry, a new Assassin's Creed. I'm not interested in any of that stuff. 
Maybe uh, I haven't played the audio yet. What if you could ride the dinosaur though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, even if you could. Right, okay. Yeah, but when you ride <laughs> it, <laughs> that, that would change Far Cry completely from being <laughs> quite when, almost when, based in reality <laughs> to being based you know in what? fantasy. Even with the riding the elephants, though, I was thinking like I don't, I don't care that much. Like, really? Because, that didn't impress you. Yeah. Yeah. Riding an elephant because you know, it doesn't make that much difference. It's like you just see the animation of an elephant head. You are dead inside. Yeah. You are dead no, inside. No, it, it's it's cool to a degree, but it's not the kind of thing that if if now when they released Far Cry. Five and they're like, oh, you're riding a T-Rex. I'd go, whoa. <laughs> Maybe do it for like two minutes ago. Oh, it's the same as the elephant, only looks slightly different. What's wrong with you? This <laughs> <laughs> man's mic talking about just fucking dogs yeah. like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> animals. I, just, I, I, do, I, do, I do think like with, with sequels and stuff, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I do, oh, yeah. It's very easy for, for developers to now do stuff. And I think there's this, there is this sort of pressure on the gaming industry anyway to, to, to release... You know the next the next sequel. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's I don't think it's, it's but necessity. There, there'll like, be a new Far Cry be... along. There, there, there have to, yeah, there has well, to be. There'll well, be a new Assassin's Creed along. Yeah, there's been new Watch Dogs it's, along. I'll tell you what, what it's exactly the same as the film industry. Like if they if they made a certain amount of money on this one, they will guarantee yeah. a sequel because they, they know they'll make sense. Yeah, yeah. So until they're actually making less money, I didn't know that. It didn't impress me. I'll tell you what, folks. It's that's why indie games are cool. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell I, your kids. I, I am a bit. Yeah, I tell you what, that, that is, I think this is yeah, what I reckon this oh, year. And actually, last year was the year of the indie game, but I think this year this this is, is going to push more. Do, do you know what one of the best indie games this year is? Hotline Miami 2, a sequel. So yeah. deal with that, Dave. With yeah. your, your I, your I would yeah, say no, that no. Hotline Miami 2 falls into all the same pitfalls as uh, Far Cry 4 and Far, to Far Cry 3 does, actually. Negative yeah. Nelly, Mike. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're wrapping up. So, who, what game, <laughs> pray tell, <laughs> might we be doing next, Michael? <laughs> you know when you get a pizza and sometimes you ring up and you place an order? We're playing Margarita! Oh! We're playing Margarita. Margarita 2. Margarita Crackatown. Uh, we're playing the order, is it 1886 or something? Hey, bollocks. Some bollocks like that. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, it's uh, That's four hours game. long, that one telling. Cool. <laughs> Until next time, I am Mike Plant at Mike Plant GC. This is Jack Turner at QRC. Jack. Jack. Yeah, yeah. This is Andy Lockland at Media Scribbles. How many Media Scribbles? <laughs> and I am. And I am. Until the day. I know, I know, Dave. Yeah, I went out. So I was gonna. Mike, you just sit there every Andy time. Andy Lockland. I was gonna do the pregnant pause thing. Well, you forgot my name today. Anyway, I did forget yeah, your name. Yeah, he yeah. is Dave Whitman. Dave Whitman. Dave yeah. Whitman. Yeah. Until yeah. the <laughs> day. <laughs> Until next time. We're Jamaica out. Dave. Continue. Bye. Bye. Bye.